So we have here the good old enthalpy diagram, molar diagram, pH log diagram. It's called differently. People use different terms for it. And the importance of this, when I was starting out in the field as a service technician or just going to school as an apprentice, I've seen, I'm sure I've seen this. I don't remember us spending a lot of time on it because a lot of people, oh, that's more of an engineering side. That's more for designers. That is not true. If you're a technician, it is so important to understand this diagram because this is how you understand all the different refrigerants out there. So as we can see right here, this is called, some people call this the bell curve. This is the saturated lines. First step is understanding what's on the left side of it. So if you're looking at a diagram on the left side, saturated liquid or the bubble point. So that's very, very important to understand because as that refrigerant transitions to different states, it's going to be important to know where you're at on this diagram. 